Good evening, you two. I was uh, sitting here stuck in traffic on the Bayway here in Mobile, Alabama on the Causeway. Long traffic jam as usual, this time of the evening. And I was thinking about a, uh, a video that I, have, I saw one of my Facebook friends posted on her page. And it was talking about, uh, it was an older lady and an older gentleman. I said it, was in, it looked like they was in there. I said late 60s, early 70s. And they had been married over 20 something years, right? And now she filed for divorce. And uh, during the whole video, they were being interviewed like on a podcast or something. And the guy was trying to get to why, um, why after so long of being married, and how did you, you know, wait, come this far to get a, to have a divorce? And uh, throughout the whole video, it was just the man speaking about everything he did wrong. The woman didn't say a word. It was just everything he did toward her. Like, you know, I ain't talking about like bad stuff, like beat her or abuse her or cheating. I ain't hear that not one time. It was about how he uh he didn't listen, he didn't do this, he didn't uh value her opinion or some some stuff like that. You know, just he didn't make her feel wanted. You know, they in their, I, I, like I said, early 70s at least. Both of them gray-haired, old. I'm like, what? what is either one of them going to do now? Talking about with a divorce. Well, he didn't want the divorce, she did. And the guy mentioned the statistics that 80 to 85% of divorces are filed by women. And the number one cause of them filing is irreconcilable. It's not cheating, it's irreconcilable differences. Which basically means she ain't getting what she wants. She ain't happy. You know, it ain't got nothing to do with uh, being mistreated or whatever, irreconcilable differences mean he's no longer jumping through hoops to make her happy. It's just my opinion, just just my view of it. Cause marriage has gotten to the point now where it's just all about happy wife, happy life. Like the hell with the man, how he feel, what he got going on, what he need. They can care less about what he need. And he didn't mention one thing, or, or she didn't say anything about anything she may have done. As in, as if throughout the whole twenty plus years. She did everything exactly right. And that's not humanly possible. We all know that. But throughout this whole video, this uh, interview or whatever, it's just him carrying on and looking, just sitting there looking like a little weak, little, little, little bitty boy, man. A 70 year old little bitty boy, just scared and just saying whatever he thinks he needs to say to, to, to bring her back to him. And I, I was like, Lord have mercy. Man, man up, bro. I mean, you, I ain't saying you're supposed to treat your woman good if you got a woman in your life. The first way she, reason she gonna lose respect for you, man, is if you get weak, bro. I don't. I know they say they want a man to do. They want want you to love them and be sensitive and cherish them and love them and put them first and all that. But I get once you do that, man, they don't want you no more, bro. They every woman want a strong man. I don't mean no like boss around, beat her up type. An assertive, take charge, no bullshit man. When she come to him with that bullshit talking about how she ain't happy and she want to leave, she want a man to tell her, hey, I'll help you pack. Believe it or not, they ain't, most of them ain't going to admit that. But, but that turns them on, man. I mean, that when she come to you with that bullshit, talking about she ain't happy and uh, she want out, she want a man that tells her, I'll help you pack. I'll even buy you, give you some gas money to get where you're going. I'll pay your first month's rent. That's what she wants you to say. When you come with all that, baby, please don't leave me. What can I do? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, please don't leave me. I, I, you know, I'll make it right. I'll fix it, whatever. When you do that, cuz, you're going to push off even more. And I know from experience, I did it. And uh, I wouldn't recommend none of y'all do that. When she want to go, let her go. You do the best you can do as a man. You're not perfect. You're not going to do everything right. Don't even try. You do the best you can. Be the best person, the best human being, the best husband. You know how to be. And she's still gonna complain about something. When she do, as long as you know you're not, you know you fucking off, that's different. But if you know you're just doing the best you know how to do, man, you're doing your best, she's still nagging and complaining about you, you know, you don't pay me enough attention, you work too much. You just not, let her ass go, bro. Let her go, man. Don't sit up there and beg her to stay. None of that. I didn't sat down while I, I wanted to just jump through the screen, sit up there and look at that old man. Look like a straight bitch. 
up there talking about everything he done did wrong and everything I'm listening to. I'm like, damn, bro, you just doing human being stuff. You're not doing like low down dirty stuff. You're doing human stuff. No, I'm not going to pay attention to everything you do. No, I'm not going to listen to every time you say something. I, I might, you know, my mind somewhere else. I'm human. I got stuff on my mind I'm worried about too. No, I ain't going to tell you you're beautiful every day I'm day. Uh, I'm uh, whatever, you know, rubbing your feet when you get home. And uh, I'm not, no, I'm not going to do that all the time. So, uh, it, it just made me sick to my stomach to sit there and watch that, man. I, I had to turn it off. And then me, me and her, we, we like went back and forth on a couple of uh, messages or whatever. I'm giving my point. She's not understanding my point as, new, as usual because she's a woman. A woman going to see her side. You know, a man has no value, in my opinion, no more nowadays. So that's why I'm not really married. That's the question for me. I've been there, done that. I don't think I ever do that again. If, if, if you have to be Jesus that have to come to me and say, hey, marry this woman. I'm sorry, he has to walk down here, meet me face to face and say, marry her. And don't get me wrong. I love women. I ain't gonna stop dealing with women. I ain't, you know, the first thing I'm gonna say, who hurt you? That's what they always say. Instead of listening to us and our issue, they're gonna say, who hurt you? Well, baby, somebody hurt you too. Everybody have been hurt. But I'm a man. I, you know what I'm saying? I, I, you, you deal with it and you move on. That don't mean I'm hurt now because I'm calling out what you're doing wrong. But like I said throughout the whole video, man, that old dude just, I didn't, uh, I didn't run a bath water. And, and sometimes I, I didn't cook. And, and I didn't do this. And I didn't do that. And I didn't do that. She just sitting there with a little smug look on her face. Like in her pure, in, in her pure perfection. Like, bruh. Let her say something. I mean, quite, I'm sure she did something wrong, wrong too, man. But she didn't get to say a word. He just, every little thing come out of my what he did and how he messed the marriage up. All right, man, you ain't did nothing, bro, but be a human being. What I learned throughout my little 50 years on the earth, man, a woman gonna find something to complain about, no matter what you do. Because she testing you, she want to see all you weak. So when she start complaining to Nick Knack and all that, she, she just trying to see where you stand, are you weak? Or you a pushover. Because beyond what, what we think, a woman want a man, if you can't stand up to her, she want to be protected more than anything. She want to be protected and provided for. Uh, you might be going to provide and pay all the bills or whatever, but she also want to know can she be protected by you. And if you if she if she open, is pushing you over and you can't stand up to her, you ain't going to stand up to nobody in the street. So... By nature, that's a woman's desire for a man to be strong and a provider. If you're neglecting any one of those things, all the other stuff she's talking about, it, it just riff rap. So I'm, I'm just man, man up, bro. I don't mean mistreat a woman. I'm talking about treat her with, I'm talking with love, respect. I'm saying do all that. But at the same time, man up, bro. When she come to you with that bullshit, you don't fuss with her. You don't holler and scream. You don't call out her name, you don't do none of it. You just say, okay, just look at her. And when she say what she gonna do and whatever, you say, okay, do what you gotta do. And go on about your business, cause your first priority should not be her. I don't care what they telling you on TV, or, or any romance novels, or these movies, or whatever, your woman should not be your first priority. Your purpose in life should be your first priority. The way you gonna provide for her, and your kids, and yourself. That should be your number one priority because if you ain't got none of that, you ain't gonna have no woman regardless. So she should not be your first priority. And any woman tell you that she wants she wants you to be she wanna be your first priority, she just talking. As soon as you do it, she's gonna lose respect for you. A woman don't wanna be your everything, but deep down inside, they might say that shit just to test you, see how how weak you are. But as soon as you do it, make her your number one. Yeah, she mean the world to you and, you, and nothing else matters but her. She gonna start losing respect for you. She gonna start acting different towards you. You ain't gonna know why. Cause you're doing in your mind everything you she, you think she wants you to do. But, but they they crazy like that, man. That, that ain't just just be yourself, man. Love yourself, bro. Do what you're supposed to do towards her and help you and your family. But all that extra stuff, don't worry about all that, man. Cause you gonna mess up. You ain't gonna do everything just right. When she come threatening you with that, she wanna leave stuff and she ain't happy and she wanna divorce or. She want to break up? Let her go, bro. You got to love yourself and believe in yourself enough to know that you'll get somebody else that'll be glad to be in her spot if you got your shit together. If you're a bum, uh, I can't say that for you, but I'm talking about men that don't what they're supposed to do. Got their shit together. Let her go, bro. 
you find somebody else. Let her go on and see what's out here. She think, you know, everything that you think, she think your sole existence on this earth is to cater to her. You got a woman like that? Well, what about you, man? What you need? That woman on that video, they say, now time about nothing she did wrong. I guess she gave him everything he needed. He ain't want for nothing. But it is what it is, bro. But let me know y'all thoughts on this, man. If you like this video, give me a like, share, subscribe, the usual. But thank y'all for taking time out today to listen to the video. Have a good day.